You would think that a hyper-masculine pastor planting a conservative evangelical church in one of the most progressive cities in the country was a recipe for disaster. But what Marty is saying is that precisely the opposite is true. The ability of Mark to define Christian masculinity, to even embody it in himself, created a powerful base of authority from which he could gather and lead a community. When conflicts later arose around questions of gender, sexuality, church governance, and culture, one would expect that these would erode that base. But in fact, for many, maybe for most, it was the opposite. The criticism and attacks from the outside were to be expected, because the church had already defined itself as an aggressive, countercultural force. And since the identity of the church had been bound up in the personality of Mark Driscoll, an attack on him felt like an attack on you. 